I gotta show you guys this. These are the actual crock pens. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. It is gonna be an absolutely incredible day. I'm actually at my buddy Kyle's place, one of the coolest crocodile private collections in the world, to be honest with you. Look at these Orinoco crocodiles right here. One of the most critically endangered crocodiles on the planet. He has four big females. Hopefully he'll be able to land a male at some point and breed these little things. We're gonna go ahead and tour this place. Not to mention we're gonna head over to his new facility that he's just getting going that is legitimately maybe the coolest crocodile facility on the entire Entire planet. I could not be happier. It's gonna be amazing. Hey, 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 hey. Guys, look at this Cuban. Oh <laughs> my gosh, I love that animal. I always say this all the time that this is my favorite species of crocodile. They're just so intelligent. Just look at just how amazing that animal is. And you can really tell an animal like this posturing because of their back legs, you know. Once they tuck those back legs, that's when you have to be worried because they're just gearing up for a jump. But we definitely don't want this one to hit the fence or anything like that. So we're just going to let it be and just kind of admire its beauty. <laughs> These are true dinosaurs, guys. I mean, just take a look at this. Oh, they're so smart. He's thinking his way through everything. Oh, look at that. So you got any rodents for me? Yeah, he's like, what do you got for me? Trust me. And the thing is, is that I can be right here. My hand is right here. He understands that there's a fence in between us. If I was on the other side, trust me, it'd be a different situation, especially Cuban crocodiles. They're such intelligent animals. They're always thinking, they're always looking for an opportunity, and so athletic. Certainly the most athletic of all crocodilians. This animal could probably jump this high in a blink of the eye, and they run fast. A lot of crocodiles explode out of the water and then just make one big lunge. These guys will explode out and then chase after their prey. Oh my gosh, amazing. Whoa! Gosh. Take a look at this big salty. Oh my gosh, that thing is incredible. That is a beast. That is definitely a big, big crocodile right there. Oh my gosh, Paul, what do you think? 14 dude? feet long. Oh my gosh, 14 feet. You gonna get in with this one? Hell no. <laughs> So again, all of this is going to get moved to a new facility. Uh, I hope I can come down and help him. He said I can come down and help move all these crocodiles, which is going to be absolutely incredible. But uh, again, this is what he really calls his like research facility. Been doing it for like 20 years in different places, but now he's ready to kind of move to his final place where he has just built the state of our facility. And all these animals are going to eventually move over there, which is pretty cool. But let's go ahead and head into the greenhouse, and later on we're going to see that new facility. This place is like the Garden of Eden here. I mean. I mean, it's cool because uh, the enclosures are so neat. You can hardly see the crocs, but they're probably so happy. I mean, just take a look at some of these. Take a look at some of these. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so friggin' awesome. This is a pair of osseos. Oh, nice. You know, really, Kyle kind of is living the dream in the sense that, you know, he's in a position in life where he can kind of play around with animals, uh, do what he loves. Certainly, he's not doing it for the money. He's not doing it for anything other than the fact that he's just super passionate about these crocodiles. So this was an amazing facility that really served his purpose, and it's really cool, as you guys can see. And now he's taking all that knowledge to build the next facility, which we're about to head over and check out. And we are over at the new facility, but, of course, we're about to go outside and see some amazing things. We're just in the building where he's going to be doing some fish. This is going to be all covered in a facade here. He's going to be doing a bunch of gars, arowana, stuff like that. Tortoise pens here for tortoises. They have an automatic water with a flush system. These are actually for the baby crocs here with the exact same thing. You can see all the water will flow in, flush everything out, and then go down this drain right there. So basically like hardly any maintenance whatsoever. So all baby crocs, bunch of fish, little tortoises over here. Oh, this is really cool, but I am excited to see outside. You gotta get the feeling like we're entering the raptor enclosure. The fences are electrified though, right? That's right, but they never attack the same place twice. They were testing the fences for weaknesses systematically. You can see it off in the distance. Oh my gosh, this is truly like Jurassic Park. Holy moly. Savannah, what in the world? This is blowing my mind. Jeez. Look at this. Are you kidding me right now? We're both from South Carolina, us right here. Yeah. Yeah. We don't, we're not that fancy like this place is fancy. <laughs> oh <Yes>. my God. <laughs> and this is all for crocodiles, guys. A 
private collection of crocodiles. I gotta show you guys this. These are the actual croc pens. Oh my gosh. Take a look at this. Oh my god. These are literally where the crocodiles are gonna go. Have you ever seen anything like this? I mean, obviously it's gonna be, you know, finish out and stuff like that, but this just gives you the idea of the area. Look at, there's all of them all down the road like that. And then of course you've got the greenhouses for the, oh my God. I mean, I knew this place was gonna be impressive, but I had no clue. This is crazy. Roughly 140,000 gallons. Oh my God. So this will be for a pair of Niles. This is just of... one pair of Niles. Yep. As you can wow. see over there, that's the walls over there. So if we okay, want to so, head yeah, so the walls will come all the way around. I got yep. it. So these are sheet pile driven six feet in the ground, and then we dug the pond out eight feet. So there's eight foot of sheet pile underneath that, so they'll never be able to dig underneath it. I see. Wow. And then the walls are four foot down and four foot up. And everything's rated for 250 mile per hour winds. And uh, I, I noticed the building in the distance. I asked Kyle what that's for, and you yeah. said, that's the car garage. The so that's, car garage. But it also has a bunker in it. So whenever, if there is, God forbid, a Category 5 hurricane, there's going to be eight queen-size bunk beds in there, a full kitchen, full generator, everything. Now, if you, right, see, so if you walk past that building, there's actually a hotel we're being built right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, 16 beds. <laughs> well, Paul, if there's ever like a, a zombie apocalypse, we're going to the bunker. Yeah. Down, yeah. We're, we're going to be here. <laughs> most houses are eight-inch concrete block, which are hollow. That's 12-inch concrete block poured solid. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, guys, this is, this is, I, I'm speechless. This is insane. To kind of just give you the overview of what Kyle was just telling me, obviously this is the barrier that is buried super deep, so there's no way they can climb underneath it. It's gonna go around here. It's gonna split these two ponds, so there'll be like a pair of Niles or a pair of Salties in this pond, and then it's gonna go all the way down, way back over where those piles of dirt are, and then it's gonna come across here. So the crocodiles can literally climb out this side, this side, climb over here, get all over there. In the middle of each pond, there's gonna be a little island where they're gonna have some plants so that the animal can actually come up and sit there, look a little bit more natural. Not to mention there'll be a cave underneath that it can sit underneath if it wants to get out of the sun. This is like ridiculous. I mean like this is this is the dream. This is truly the dream. If you love crocodiles, this is exactly what it's gonna be. I have a feeling that every crocodile lover in the world and expert in the world is gonna at least come here to visit just to see what Kyle's been doing. So this entire greenhouse here, this one right here, is just for tortoises. This whole thing is gonna be nothing but tortoises and it actually has a roof that can actually close so that there's even less sunlight or more sunlight depending on if it gets too hot. You don't want the tortoises to potentially bake in the heat so he can close it up get all the shade they need but if it's a cooler day and he wants to let more sun in he can open up the top next greenhouse over here is a little bit different but absolutely massive this is all gonna be for little crocodiles so like raise ups one year old two year old stuff like that oh my gosh this is absolutely breathtaking Oh, I can't wait to come back when this place is done. It is going to literally be like a Garden of Eden. So again, I tell you what guys, I am blown away. Kyle is such a nice guy and it's just great to see what he's got started here. We're definitely going to come back when it's finished, kind of show you the update. But as for now, speaking of some other amazing things we're about to do, I'm going to head over to Gatorland, go meet up with Jake and Brandon from D Almighty, and we're going to actually do some treasure hunting over at Gatorland. Should be pretty fun. What do you say we get on the road? And you guys know that I'm back here at Gatorland. We got Jake D Almighty over here, Savannah on the other side. I am pretty excited excited about this because you're gonna actually be able to do some treasure hunting in these ponds that have never been like no, ever looked at. I said this place has been in what? Uh, uh, yeah, 70 so years old. 70, 70 years. 70. 70. Like, oh my gosh. imagine what's probably down there. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be awesome. So obviously I'll put a link in the description, guys. You guys know Jake, but uh, definitely go check his video out. I'll also put a link to Savannah's Gatorland. Uh, so it's good. I'm, I, this is gonna be a great way to sort of end my trip. Well, the weather has definitely turned for the worse. It's gotten pretty chilly out here. It's raining. And for anyone that makes videos, the one thing you will absolutely know, most of it's about preparation. So Jake, Brandon are getting things together. Uh, Paul Caffero is joining us too. And we're just kind of getting all the gear ready. They're going to actually kind of dredge this whole area here and all over the park because this place has been open since the 40s and no one has actually looked for all the stuff that people drop in the water over here. There's wedding rings. There's even a gun supposedly that happened over here where someone like committed a crime and threw their gun and the cops caught him over here, but they never found on the gun so who knows what they're gonna find today but it's gonna to be pretty often I'm just here for right I love hanging out at Gatorland this is gonna be awesome going up and down like this if there's anything down there uh, the magnet should be able to pick it up it has two 1,000 magnets 
And so again, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's awesome that Jake and Brandon are here just doing some treasure stuff. Their channels are absolutely huge, obviously. So it's great exposure for Gatorland, and I'm glad that uh, they've become friends of mine and we were able to make this happen. So uh, it's going to be cool. Who knows what they can find? Maybe iPhones, again, a wedding ring, whatever the case is. Hopefully Jake doesn't fall over because uh, there are a ton of big alligators. And while Jake and Brandon are treasure hunting, trying to keep the alligators away because Jake is over there actually up the wall. And uh, so she's trying to keep, keep away. How awesome is that? Come on, guys. Come to me. Even though it's a miserable day out here, rain and cold, it's still awesome. I'm having a great time. Uh, Brandon and Jake are over here. We're actually at the original walkway for Gatorland. You know, now it's all fenced in and stuff like that for protection, obviously. But way back in the day, in the 50s and 60s, obviously things were different. Insurance was different. This is the place where they would feed the alligators and crocodiles, and people would literally just line up right down this aisle here. Now, of course, there's fencing. You can't get here and stuff like that. So they're just taking the magnet and kind going right down here. Now, a lot of times they'll find like iPhones phones and stuff like that. Obviously back in the 60s they didn't have iPhones, but you never know some coins or anything else. So uh, we'll see what they find. I, I don't know. I'm really excited to see if they find something today. They're making splashes yeah, and they stuff will. like that. Oh my oh, god, Jake, come, come here, come here, come here. Is the polarizer where you can see that? Dude, look at that. <laughs> <Is> that <awesome? laughs> you gotta remember we these guys aren't around spring. alligators all the time. Yeah. So like we're all excited about it, but they're like, oh my god, these things are gonna kill us. It's yeah. way quicker than, than this guy right here. Look at him just chilling. <laughs> American crocodile is coming in over here. You definitely want to be a lot more careful with the crocodiles, obviously, these alligators. They're probably never going to get over this wall. That American crocodile is something that we'll definitely keep a look at. But, uh, what do we have here? Well, this oh is. Oh my gosh. So you're set, this is the one you're sending up to the reptarium? Um. I mean, <laughs> we could, I guess. No, I'm joking. This is absolutely incredible. You guys know that I just got that little baby cow that has all the yellow. This looks like that. Right? Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Looks so like it might have had a meal recently. Oh yeah, definitely <laughs> got a little bit of a lump, but look at how gorgeous that snake is. Oh my gosh, this is great. Brandon, is this the first snake you've held? Uh, yeah. Really? Oh, where are we going, Donna? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Dude, that, well, this is a cow retic. It's a, absolutely amazing. You know, this is the longest species of snake in the world. This oh, one get 20 plus oh man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Like it's a great accessory. You should take it on all your dives. Wow. <laughs> I can't even think of anything to say to you right now. He said this is the first time you've yeah, ever done first it Yeah, first time. Oh my God. This is right. awesome. Isn't that cool, Savannah? So cool. <laughs> Never had a snake around me before. You're fine. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, Brandon, it looked like he sur Brandon now, survived, so it looks like it's my turn. Now it's all aggravated. Yeah, now. Uh, oh my oh, God. Oh, it's <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. That's I don't even know how to hold snake. it. It's like I'm holding a baby. No, you don't baby. have to. You're just a tree, and, he's, <laughs> and, and he, she's gonna hold on to you. Oh my goodness. Oh. It, it, I don't even know where the face is. <laughs> Look Where's the face hand. at? Right. It's, yeah, on your back. You're it's on your back. Oh, oh it's now coming it's up now. Oh my. It's coming right up to you. So your neck, no. is, your neck is really warm, so it's probably gonna wanna be near your neck. <laughs> I don't know where it is. It feels so weird. And you don't like snakes, do you? <laughs> Oh, don't flinch, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's enough. Get up, get up, get up. <laughs> so these guys have been uh, at it all morning. Yes. Haven't really found so much yet. What do you get? Just some screws yeah, and some nails. That's pretty much it. But, just uh, means we're closer to the good find. That's, now. Right. That's right. Brandon said it's all about the hunt and the journey, right? Yeah, so yes. I'm gonna get out of here and let these guys keep at it. I'm gonna put the links in the descriptions of both their Thanks. channels. Uh, definitely, I'm gonna be looking forward to seeing what you guys may come up with. I'm still thinking you're gonna find something amazing. I, I think so. So I'm, you, time. I'm pretty sure Jake's gonna lose his magnet to an alligator here soon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> be we'll careful, see. guys. Alligator, remember, crocodiles are the ones you watch out yeah, for. Yeah. So you guys be good, and uh, I'm gonna go down and do some adventures with these guys pretty soon. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. All right. Absolutely. I'll see you guys soon. See you, Thanks, man. guys. Thank, Thank you guys. so much for your help. Thanks, man. With that said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, and uh, I only have one quick thing to do before I head on the road. You guys know that I am excited about picking up this animal. Literally tomorrow, you guys are gonna find out what I'm actually adding to the reptarium. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. Incredible. I am looking forward to getting back with my family, my friends, my animals, and getting back to the Reptarium and be 
BHB for sure. As for now, I'm just gonna wish you guys an amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. Like I mentioned, I'll put the links in the description to everything down there, so definitely go check everyone out. Tell them that I sent you. And I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Your support means the world to me, and I truly love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video. Make that comment down below because I love reading about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh,